What does the 1 billion Axcore downloads milestone mean for digital accessibility? So to me, um, this milestone is absolutely enormous. I think if you looked at the web and any really digital product about 10 years ago, digital accessibility was a secondary concern. It was an afterthought and for a lot of applications it wasn't even considered. Um, and this was due to really, I think some of it was due to at least how hard it was to check for digital accessibility. When now we have X Core, and you've seen that now that it has over a billion downloads, the barrier to entry is lower than ever. And we have automated tools now that can enforce accessibility rules way earlier in the development cycle. So now developers have started to incorporate well, accessibility concerns as part of their development practices. I think that a billion downloads speaks volumes and it speaks for itself. It's. Uh... It's an unbelievably reliable tool. One billion AxCore downloads means that the development community cares more than ever about accessibility. This is a happy day. A billion downloads of AxCore mean to me a better web. Billions of better sites for me, for you, for all of us. I am pleased to have been able to attribute to the success of Axcore. I think that the 1 billion Axcore downloads mean that software engineers are addressing accessibility during the development stage, which makes me think that more product teams are shifting left and including accessibility in their definition of done. Product teams see the value in baking accessibility into their software development lifecycle instead of waiting for issues to arise in production through customer complaints or audit reports. Congratulations on reaching 1 billion downloads. Myself and Test Double are happy to have helped create a more inclusive experience for so many. It means that there's a remarkable amount of convergence on Axcore as a recognized solution to the problem of automated accessibility testing. I think the Axcore library is remarkably accurate and flexible and I think those two things especially combined um, make it the right tool for so many different types of users and organizations that need to perform accessibility testing. I'm really really proud of, of what we've achieved. Um, it's gone beyond my wildest dreams in terms of the, the level of adoption. Um, what, where we are today is what we, what we thought would be amazing but we didn't really think was achievable it was really it looked so far uh, ahead in the future and i'm really proud i'd really like to thank everyone who's contributed to axcore over the years and i'm looking forward to the next billion downloads for us as developers digital accessibility is all about awareness and constant improvements so congratulations to one billion downloads of axcore which has a great impact on digital participation and democracy. As product owner of Axcore, it's been incredible to work on this cool little tool for the last seven years and to see how it's been adopted by lots of organizations to make their digital accessibility better. To organizations like Microsoft, like Google, like Meta have embraced Ax and have built there and extended it and made it available to lots of developers around the world. We could not have done that without all of your help. I think digital accessibility, in part because of Axe, is in a better place than it has been in basically forever. And that makes me excited about the future for accessibility. How does this make you feel about the future? Um, and it makes me feel good about the future of the web and living up to its promise of being a think of well-being a thing for everybody. Uh, I think the future is bright and I'm really excited to see where this goes. Let's keep that momentum going. What about our future? A better internet, a better world for everyone, for all people. The 1 billion Axcore downloads make me excited for the future. I think Ax will allow product teams to spend more time on accessibility related innovations. When I interview a product or a feature, one of the first questions I ask the team is, did you run X? But that way I know that the rudimentary accessibility issues have been resolved and we can jump into more interesting, complex accessibility challenges. I'm quite optimistic about the future to make the web a better place. 
not just by convincing further colleagues about the benefits of digital accessibility, but even also to enable them to check their websites and their applications for problems regarding digital accessibility. And I think what this leads us to is a future where digital accessibility is no longer an afterthought, it's no longer something we have to even really consider. It's baked into our development processes, which is going to expand what applications can be used and how they can be used to a whole new set of users. So I'm really thankful for x I'm really thankful for what it's enabled, I'm really thankful for the impact that it's having, not only on how I work as an individual, but on society as a whole. I think an accessible space and an inclusive space is something that we need to have um, across this country. So thank you so much for AxCore. Thank you so much to everybody who's involved in the development of it. And thank you for distributing it for free. Um, I'm an open source contributor that has contributed to the product, but I am not at all uh, somebody who came up with the idea, implemented it, and delivered it, and rolled it out to a billion to, to users that have generated a billion downloads. The fact that so many people are using it and scrutinizing it and helping to improve it means that uh, the future of digital accessibility, uh, at least with regards to automated testing, is very bright. Accessibility has come a long way. There's certainly, certainly a lot to do, but I think we are in a good place and we are building. So congratulations to DQ, to congratulations to everybody.